While oil prices had been in decline for almost a year, the main reason was because of the supply-demand imbalance. Mainly the thought was that it was too much supply. Now I think the worry is that uh, there's too much supply because there's uh, shrinking demand because the U.S. economy uh, is still chugging along at only a half-speed pace. And now with the Chinese stock market in negative territory, the worry is that we're seeing the Chinese economy uh, slow down to a point that, while still enviable for any developed nation, is quite a bit lower than it was just a few years ago. Well, I guess the real question is, where do we go from here? Uh, I think that the S&P 500 has to dip below 2025, just across what I would regard as a meaningful decline threshold, which is 5%. We've gone 46 months without a decline of 10% or more, which is very long compared with the 18-month average. The stock market traditionally has volatility. We've actually experienced a very limited amount of volatility in the past several years, and now I I think investors are getting unnerved because we're getting back to normal.